This is an 8mm spanner and with a small adjustment I'm going to show you how something as small as this could potentially save your life. So right now there's something fundamentally wrong with this picture right here and I'll give you a clue. It's somewhere in this vicinity. And just in case you still can't spot it, I'll hop up on the bike and make it a little bit more obvious. So it's right here, your brake lever and your clutch lever. From factory when you buy a new bike or if you buy one second hand and someone has or hasn't adjusted these, they don't come fitted to you and believe it or not there's a lot of minor adjustments you can do to your motorcycle to fit you as they are not made for a specific type of rider and we're all different sizes, heights, lengths, things like that. So as you can see already I've over exaggerated this but this is kind of how your bike will come from factory to an extent. The brake lever is a big one in particular because the longer it takes for you to grab some brake is an extra 50, 100 meters down the line which could potentially stop you and others from having a massive accident and I can almost guarantee that at some point had some people had done what I'm about to tell you, they probably would have saved their lives. So as you can see, at the moment, my brake is quite high and it's unnatural for my fingers. So for me to brake if I'm riding, I'm gonna to have to let the throttle off, jump all the way over the brake, which is an unnatural thing to do already. And then I'm not ready with my fingers to put progressive load on it. So it's gonna be very snappy. And you see those videos, especially with Harley Davidson's when they slam the front brake on an intersection and the front washes out. That's kind of what would be prevented if you had this here set correctly. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to adjust this to make more sense, to make it safer on the road for you. So that's where this comes in. And obviously they might differ in size depending on your bike. And what you wanna do is focus on down here. So you can probably see in this little camera, hello. There are two bolts right here and they will loosen up the whole brake and the reservoir in one go. So if I loosen these, as you'll see, doesn't take much and I've previously cracked these bolts. Yours might be a little harder to open. So by simply loosening these two bolts, I can freely move the whole adjustment assembly around, which means I can now adjust it to fit my hand more comfortably. So what you wanna do is move it up and down and find a natural resting position for your fingers to ideally, when you roll off the throttle, naturally be straight on the brake. Not too low because then you'll be overreaching to go down, not too high because you'll be doing exactly what I said from the beginning. And I'm happy with it about there I think. So I'm gonna fix it up here. And of course, you don't have to do it fully, you can do it slightly just to hold, and that way you can make even more minor adjustments. See, I wanna go down slightly for myself, and I'm happy with that, so I'm just gonna tighten that up. So there you can see, naturally now when I ride, my finger will always ride on that brake. And if you haven't got into the habit already, I greatly suggest that you get into a habit of riding with one or maybe two fingers on the brake at all times. So I tend to ride all the time with one finger, you'll see in my videos, always on the brake. And that way when I roll off, I can naturally swap between on and off and onto the brake progressively, which means I can smoothly transition from on to off, which now you can understand is why I'm saying this could potentially save your life. So over here on the clutch is the exact same story. You want to adjust it to fit you comfortably. If you're a beginner or you haven't adjusted this, you might find it very hard to control your bike, especially from a hill start and a clutch perspective. So adjusting this will make it a lot easier for you to understand and help use your clutch. So as you can see, I've only got one bolt on this side and I'm just going to do the exact same process and adjust it up and down to my liking and make it work for me. And that way it's easier to pull with one hand and control the bike. So if this is new to you and you're going to run out and do your adjustments after this, please give me a like, comment and subscribe because if this can spread the algorithm for more people to see and potentially save someone's life, then we've both done our job and you're helping me to help you. And that's very much appreciated. So there you go. That's how something as small as this spanner could potentially save my life. Thank you for watching Throttle Tube and I'll see you guys in the next video.